Good morning, New York traders. Privateer FX coming at you. 2018. Just going through these currencies. We're focusing a little bit on this uh, downside cross yen. We see how this euro yen, four hourly doji. Now we've printed a lower low. Feels like the market's long a bit of euro yen. Uh, we can see this thing back down through 134.50 in the coming days. Uh, what's going to drive that? It looks like the dollar yen side is. 112.05, very important. 100 day moving average. Should be some stops below 112 the figure. Ideally, we get a bounce first thing in New York, some sort of touch and a bounce. Um, but maybe not. You know, so the yen looks like it's going to strengthen in the next coming days. So we're looking at ways to get long yen. The third chart, this Aussie yen, we really like 87.76, pretty close now. Market's a little lethargic here, so we don't want to get too carried away. And we'd like a story, we'd like a risk off story to go with this, if possible. So, keep an eye on the uh, e minis, which are basically unchanged from the open at 2680 right now. Not a whole else lot out there. Bitcoin's back higher, unchanged on the day. It was down, well, I guess it's up, up a percent on the day. At one point it was down 2%, down around 13,000. 13,600 right now. Not much going on Bitcoin today. Gold's higher, as we spoke about this morning. No real good trade ideas when it comes to gold. Those are a lot of daily green bars there. Caught the market sleeping, looks like. Why is gold higher? I'm not sure, but sometimes this can be a harbinger of some bad news coming coming our way in the next couple of days. So you don't know the risk off antenna are up and we're looking left hand side and part of the reason is valuation, but now part of the reason also is this gold move. I don't really understand. I don't think anyone understands what's happening there. Finally, sterling yen. We kind of printed like a double top up there at 153.50. This becomes incredibly important, 146.90 this week. So if today we get this outside reversal, ideally we want it to close below 150.150, so you get the outside reversal on the 29th then the downside is at risk. Again, left-hand side, yen crosses, left-hand side, dollar yen, easing our way back in to the 2018 trading year. Good luck, traders. We will see you tomorrow at the European Open. I hand this off to my esteemed colleagues in America. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.